Good morning. It's Barbara. It is barely morning and pretty warm. 81% humidity, so it's going to be, you know, a little muggy outside, but that's where I'm going. Here's a little tiny video in my fridge. This is a new thing we got, bees wrap. I'll show you the package, but I wanted you to see it in action. Good morning, barely. It's Barbara. Thank you for joining me for coffee. When I don't get up and get Dennis his tea and he gets me a coffee, I'm very late because I sit in my bed and drink the coffee he made me and read my phone. And my phone is not making me happy today, as you can imagine. It has been a brutal few weeks as our Supreme Court brings down its verdicts from the season. The first Monday in October is when the Supreme Court start, our Supreme Court starts hearing um, cases that they're going to hear for the year. And the last few weeks they have been announcing their rulings on these. And it feels pretty brutal. Yeah. Um, Anyway, good morning. So, it's feeling like it's not shaping up to be that great of a mental health day. But, um, it's sunny at least and that helps. It is a little muggy out here though, I have to admit. This is the bees, oh, I forgot my glasses. The bees wrap that I was showed you in the refrigerator. Dennis has gotten this. We ha we ended up getting three different sizes. And it's basically a very light cotton impregnated with beeswax and probably something else. And um, it replaces things like plastic zippy bags and, and cellophane that goes over bowls and things like that because I feel like I feel so wasteful when I use those, but it's so nice, you know. Not all of our bowls have covers, although quite a few of our bowls have covers. But you can use it to wrap vegetables, and Dennis was wrapping his cheese. Anyway, we're starting to, and the way it works is you um, warm it up with your hands because it's wax, beeswax. You kind of warm it up a little bit with your hands and it kind of sticks to itself or whatever. It is not clingy like, well, we haven't gotten it to be clingy like exactly like saran wrap, but you could see that bowl was perfectly fine because it was a big enough piece and it was, it was you know, molded around to fit the size of the bowl. So anyway, we have a few of these that so we're gonna be using them and uh, see what we think about it. And I did mention to Dennis that I have beeswax. In fact, it seems like the ingredients for these are almost the same as the ingredients for the lip balm that I've made in the past, except um, no cocoa butter, <laughs> which is what makes the lip balm taste good. But beeswax and some kind of oil. Now I use almond oil in the lip balm, but that would work for this too. So anyway, I just mentioned to Dennis, you know, we might be able to make these if we wanted to try to do that, but we shall see. I'm, I don't know where I got them. My guess is they're not cheap. I'm just saying. Ah, oh, the sun's out now. The girls are out with me, puttering around, looking around, seeing what's going on. So anyway, I went to the store yesterday because I wanted to get some ice cream, Kito ice cream that only Wegmans has that I could have while Dennis was away at his D&D &D game. And I got in the car, it was Friday afternoon, I got in the car and realized that I hadn't been in the red car, which is our going around town car, since I got home on Sunday night. So I've been at home. Or in the dog car walking the dogs. In fact, I haven't seen Aura since I got back, so I think she's got something going on this weekend. I'm not sure exactly what I need to call her. But we have invited her for dinner on Monday, so I will see her then, if not before. But I thought that was, you know, so interesting because I had left something on the front seat um, and hadn't brought it in yet. 
which means that I mean, I brought it in yesterday. I would have brought it in if I'd been in the car another time. And Dennis didn't bring it in. He drove it. Um, he went over to his mom's at least once this week. So anyway, I thought it was interesting that I hadn't been in my car. Except to walk the dogs since last Sunday. I guess I've been hibernating a little bit. I did comfort... TV, I went on BritBox and nothing grabbed me. And I think that, I think it's, I can't blame BritBox and I can't blame Netflix that nothing grabs me. It's all me. It's all me. So I watched a Poirot and a bunch of Miss Marples, which I've seen a million times. In fact, I own them all on DVD. But I watched them on my laptop right next to me so I didn't have to get up. And I knit. And I knit for quite a while on my Elm Leaf um, Charlotte. So that was nice. I kept getting my count off. Part of the pattern of the elm leaf Charlotte is that it does a slip one, knit two together, pass the slip stitch over. And I think on e almost every row, I forgot to pass the slip stitch over. So when I was done, when I did the next patterned row, I had one more stitch than I should have had. <sighs> yeah. And it happened regularly enough. Now, I'm looking at the pattern, and I went back a couple of times to see if I could fix it. I, w I, I can't see where I'm off. Nobody's going to see where I'm off. It doesn't impact the beauty of the pattern at all, so I'm not going to worry about it too much other than try to pay a little bit more attention. But at the, you know, I've just started the last lace section and I found a problem on the, on the rest row knit, knit, there's a, you know, pattern row, then a rest row, then a pattern row, then a rest row, uh, which is all knit. And I recognized where I made a mistake on the knit row that I had a mistake. I, I, I hadn't slipped my past my slip stitch over. So I was able to fix that and able to really so sink in to recognize it and an easy way to fix it. So hopefully this last section, I won't have that problem. And if I would have brought it out here, I could have been showing it to you, but it no longer looks like a thong. So that's nice. I'll show it to you tomorrow. Anyway. Maisie's laying out here, but she's puffing and panting. She's got her fur has grown a little bit, and she's, of course, almost all black. And when she, where she's not black, she's dark brown. So, but she doesn't mind the sun. That's funny. But I got to start brushing her out because she has a grooming appointment the second week in July. And I want them to be able to clip her a little bit without shaving her. Because when they shaved her last time, which they had to because of the matting, um, we had to have her on itch medication, anti-itch medication for two weeks because she got so itchy from that. So I want them to be, I want Gabby to be able to just clip her instead of shave her. And we've never not gotten her shaved before <laughs> because we went too long every time and she always had to shave her. So I'm hoping that's a possibility. I could be wrong. Maybe that isn't even an option. But, um, it could be, her hair could be shorter and anyway, but I've got to brush her or she's going to be all matted and uh, Gabby won't have any choices. Anyway, but both the girls are out here, aren't you, Pearl? Dennis is going to be ferminating her. She's shedding like crazy. And so Dennis takes her out in the yard. I don't know. It rained since he did it last time and makes a big white pile in the grass. And he'll be doing that this afternoon. That's his plan. I think that's the only thing he has planned for today. <laughs> yeah, we're, we don't have a lot we're going on on a, on a Saturday. Happy Saturday, everybody. Happy Sunday to you, Megan, and those of you across the date line. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, just going to knit today. The knitting was good last night. And um, 
And I have been thinking about color schemes and things I might want to do with my penguano. So I'm thinking about that. I have to go back and find my pattern or reprint it. Um, but I think I can do it in DK weight, right? Because I was thinking of holding two fingerings together and maybe have do like I did with my um, backbone and have one of the one of the strands of fingering always be the same color throughout the whole thing to kind of pull things together and then I can really go a little crazier with the other colors because it has a, a little bit of a muting effect and and it helps pull things together Maze is on the alert So I'm thinking about that. And I have a lot of that um, bear stroll because I bought all the bear stroll I need for my um, king size granny stripe blanket. And every once in a while I start using it for something else and then replace it. So I have that if, I want, if that's the color I want to use to kind of mute. I don't want to make it mohair or anything like that. I actually don't want to buy any yarn for my penguano. I want it completely out of stash. And uh, so if I'm going to do that one color throughout the whole thing plan, then um, I'm going to have to use the bear. But I could have one color in the front and another color in the back or one color on the right and another color on the left. Something like that. Oh, I actually got those correct when I said that right and left. I am right and left challenged, as Dennis will tell you. You know, because I'll tell him, turn right. And he said, you're right or my right? I'm like, oh, no, left, go left. <laughs> Always have been, I'm not sure why. But I'm great at reading a map and I'm great at navigating so I'm not sure why the right and left thing doesn't work well with me. Anyway. So I am thinking about my penguano and I'm going to go start looking around and looking at my stuff and see what I want. I have other sweater. I don't know why I say I have to use the bear. I have plenty of sweaters quantities of yarn. Um... And in theory, a sweater's quantity of yarn would work as one, you know, throughout the whole thing as one um, strand. So I've got some thinking to do, but I've been thinking, it's been crossing my mind, especially, you know, when I was looking at those other yarns I showed you the other day, or my, that other yarn I showed you, no parking glare. I'm like, this is Penguano yarn. This is Penguano yarn. And my and my Flaming June, my other skein of Flaming June is also Penguano yarn. So I'm not sure where it's going to go color wise, but I think having that one strand and maybe one strand of bear just is the plan. Um, then I, then I don't have to have a color scheme really. I just have to not put two things together that look ugly or clash. I'm not sure I'll be able to know that. <laughs> I'll ask for advice from you guys. Anyway, I gotta go. This is so late. Please take good care of yourselves. Please, please stay safe and stay sane.